So I'm going to try the pocketbook that everybody's been making. or It's like a crossbody clutch. They're making a circle. And they're folding it. So I gotta make two circles. Let me get rid of this blue. Whoop, get back here. So I made two bobbins. I don't know how long I'll be on. It might be a long video. <laughs> anyway, when I run out of my second bobbin, I might have to make a part two. We'll see. We'll see how fast this sewing machine will sew this macrame cord. It's about a, I guess, four millimeter or six millimeter. It's a burgundy. Hi, say hello. Anyway, I um, have a whole spool of it. It's... I don't know. I think it's smaller than the rope I use. Let me look. Let me look and compare. It's a little more squishy and flimsier. So, come here, rope. Yeah, it's just a little bit smaller than um. Just a little bit smaller. Not much, but mind you, there's no filler. And it's flimsy. This is vintage uh, rope. Or macrame cord. What they used to make plants. Hangers. Alright, let me get my thread out here. And I'll look at my comments. So how is everyone? My cold is getting better. I'm off work again. I might have to find me another job. <laughs> Um, I just put kits on my Etsy shop for making, um, hang on, for making coasters. So I make, cut enough rope for four coasters. And it's the, the new rope. It's real sturdy. So if you want to experiment with that rope, that's a good chance, uh, good way to do it. All right, I'm on a roll, and I think I'm gonna use some of this trellis lace on a few rows. Uh, hang on, let me look you up. Well, hey Sharon. Yeah, girl, I'm feeling better. I still got in my nose a little bit. I was on the back porch earlier trying to finish up painting that um, uh, sewing machine cabinet. I still got to finish cleaning that sewing machine. Alright, let's see what we could do here. You saw the kits? Yeah, that's a nice rope too. It's a polish, uh, I think they call that a weave braid, basket weave braid. It's real sturdy. It'll make a real stiff bowl. I've made a couple with it. I have to use a different sewing machine though. My baby lock doesn't care for it too hot. Um, the Singer and the Kenmore... So that rope pretty good. Baby Lock, she's picky. Baby Lock thinks she's fancy. Alright, I got burgundy thread. Let's see how we sew this rope. I haven't sewn this rope yet. Be my first time. I always say the rope that you buy and don't like. To make bowls, make placemats, make rugs, make pocketbooks. I 
Alright, my feed dogs don't like it already. Come on. Feed dogs are grabbing on it because it's nylon. There we go. Don't you act up now. It was catching on the feed dog. So far, so good. But yeah, they're making little clutch crossbody bags with a circle. I thought I'd try it. And then we'll wrap a few rows with the trellis lace. I picked the gold and the cream beige color. I think that would be pretty with the burgundy. But it's cool looking that little pocketbook. I've made the ones that look like the uh, canteen the crossbody. I have made those. They don't sell very good here. I, people look at the price and walk away. I have sold one, and then I sold that circle pocketbook that I made with the, all the circles. I had a line that one. That one went to Ohio. I got a hundred dollars for no, I think it was a hundred and ten dollars for that pocketbook. All right, so far so good. It's, it's pretty stiff, and that's just doing the star shape. Uh-oh, can we see it? It's awful dark. Okay. Well, the sun shines out today. Zigzag. Alright, here we go. Let me look at some questions here. Yeah, um, not this. The, the rope on the, that I have on the kit. So I, yes, those are ambers. Amber's rope. I bought a whole spool from her. But I said in a couple of videos that I was going to do some kits. So I thought I'd do it with that rope. To help her sell her rope and um, help me out with making videos and stuff. I have, uh, I think, two videos on YouTube making the coasters, and I do believe one of them, one of the videos, I was using that rope. Now, that's been a few months ago. I probably should have went on the group and said, hey, I'm on live over here. <laughs> I might need to bring my feed dogs up a little bit. So far, my stitch is doing good. It's connecting. This is like a six mil, might be four millimeter. I don't know what this one is. It don't say on the spool but this is a vintage um, macrame cord pretty old Message me. <laughs> she 
she must be at her lunch break. I don't even think she subscribed to my YouTube channel. I had to get out Amber. Right now I have 1,302 people. So if you hadn't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It helps me um, get the channel out there. Once I get 10,000 subscribers, I'll start being able to get paid with the commercials. So that'll help me out too. I need some better equipment. I want to get a GoPro, but they're like $300. Right now, I can't just make a video and post it because of my memory on my iPad. It's still at iOS 12. It won't upgrade to the new iOS um, 15. It's an old iPad. I have a um, Google Chrome laptop but that one only lets you do minimal things also I'm like gee golly whiz technology hey this is looking nice it's got a sheen to it shiny Between my hand and this sewing machine, I don't know which works. My old sewing machine, I gotta get the tension right. I just ain't had patience for it. And then that sewing machine I just got, it needs cleaning. I've cleaned most of it. It was given to me. It has a cute little cabinet. Um, yeah, I like this. This is going to make a nice pocketbook. It was covered. It looked like cigarette smoke. I don't know. But I've had to spray it down and clean every inside and out. I did the outside first. <laughs> and now i got to get into the um, bobbin area and get that cleaned out real good. But other than that, it turns... Everything turns nice. It's a heavy... Uh-oh. My, my string just broke. Oh, I got hung up. It got twisted coming off of that spool. This spool was wound different than all the other spools. Uh-oh. So now I have to be careful... Because it gets the twist in and gets a knot in it. And the darn needle break. It's only this burgundy thread. But it's wound different than the rest of the spools. So they wound it backwards, I do believe. Alright, Laurel. Get it in there. In there, in there. Come on. <laughs> Anybody helping me? <laughs> I can't see. I think I need to cut it again. I can't. Come on, Laurel. You can do it. In there. There we go. Finally. Between my eyes and my thumb. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Let me unwind some while I'm here. Oh, you can't even see that thread. It's the same color.
pretty, pretty. I don't remember how big they did the circle on that one. I didn't really pay it no mind, because you know how Laurel is. She'll figure out. She'll figure it out. It was kind of cool. They folded it down in the front and folded it. Folded it. The back part over top. I think. It's gonna be a lot of circles. Uh oh, she's trying to curve on me. She curve on me. Uh oh, I went off. I went off the centers there. There we go. Hard to tell when it's all the same color. Uh oh, I, I hear it twisting again. Come on, thread, you gotta act right. Let me look. It's serger thread I'm using, so I'm, it's got that big cone. I have it on one of those things that looks like a hangman. Alright, now my it's starting to curve because it's going off the edge. <sighs> but it's alright, as long as it don't curve too much. I went to the thrift shop the other day. Guess what I found? <laughs> Somebody had made a bowl with the Dollar Tree's rope. And they had it with the hats. <laughs> Whoever made it did that circle on the side of the bowl. I said, uh oh, somebody's in the area making bowls. But they had it in the hats. Whoever did it did a good job, though. But it's that real thin rope similar to this. Some old lady's probably going by and wear it to church. Turn and stop. Uh oh. You hear that? It's getting twisted again, making a knot in there. It's only that one spool that does that to me. Alright, you see how it's going off the edge? Oh no, y'all can't see it. Here, let me back up. See how it's going off the edge of my sewing machine? It's <clears throat> making it curve. It's going up and down. But it'll be alright once we make the pocketbook. You won't even know. Maybe if I hold my hand on it like this. Yeah, anyway, you curve your rope while you're sewing. That's the position your rope's going to be. If it's curved or crooked or hanging off the edge. 
it's hanging off the edge. It's, it's stretching the cord a certain way. Oh, that's a little bit better. <clears throat> Plus, I'm getting twists here. And it's tightening up my rope. So that, that could be another issue, too. You got to loosen your rope up. Untwist it. Alright. Yeah, see how it's twisting? It's because of the way I'm pulling it off of the roll. Okay, let's try this again. Let me see. Well, hi, Mary. How you, girl? Yes, ma'am, you made it. I'm playing with some macrame cord. It's about... It's a little bit smaller than the cotton rope. Um, it's macrame cord. Oh, no. Yeah, that darn thread. It, that's the only one that does that to me. All right, so I'm holding my hand here. It seems to be helping. But by me uh, pulling it from the back or pushing it the way I was, it's making it curve. Yeah, this is the old school uh, macrame cord. All right, she's trying to come off there. Hey, Mary, do you know how big circle that pocketbook was? You know which one I'm talking about? She made circles and folded it down. I know you know which one I'm talking about. She made two of them. I think one of them was a black one. It wasn't on our group. I don't remember how big she made her circles. I didn't really pay it no mind. Oh. Come on now, thread. Act right. Yeah, I thought I'd come on uh, live on Facebook because it's been a while. I think it's been a week. If you hadn't subscribed, hit that little subscribe button. It helps me get the channel out there. Right now I have 1,300 subscribers. If I get 10,000, I get paid from um, commercials. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> then if you hit a million, you get a whole lot of money. Crafty Patty's probably up there making that big money now. Yeah, they pay you once you get so many subscribers. Got a long way to go yet. I got four more years before I can retire, so this will help me get retirement, too. Plus, I get to do what I like to do. And I get to hang out with y'all. Did y'all know face? I mean, um, YouTube pays after so many subscribers. You gotta have so many subscribers and views. Yeah, there's stipulations. But once you get ten thousand subscribers, each commercial that comes on, you get like two or three dollars. I don't know what the exact is, but I'll let y'all know when I make it that far. Hopefully I make it that far. Guess Laurel better create some cool stuff, huh? <laughs> Alright, it's curving again. That's pretty. Taking forever, but it's pretty. 
I think I should do a wrap in a minute. It's got like a shine to it. Yeah, the smaller rope takes longer. Alright, don't you do it. Put this right there. I know when you do um, big placemats, they tell you to have a, a table extender on your sewing machine, or even the rugs. That way you don't get all the curves and stuff. But Twisted back further will help too, I do believe. So we're going to stretch it out, get some of these kinks out. Pull these kinks out. See how much is kinking up? Alright, that's better. Let me look, see if she answered my question. Alright, I saw that. She pulled half an inch between the circles. I think I'm a wrap now. We're gonna do a wrap. Why'd I do that? Ooh, I need to clean my sewing machine. My sewing machine's got a fuzzy Santa Claus beard. <laughs> I just seen it. Ooh, Laura, clean your sewing machine. I've been sewing a lot. Alright, lay yourself flat. It curved. Looks like a plate. It looks nice though, don't it? Even though it's a plate. See it shining? Can you see it shining? Let me turn my overhead light on. I only had this ring light on. Is that better? That's a little bit better, but it's got a sheen to it. A, not a real shine, shiny, shine, shine. Word of the day. See, I got a dome. Alright, we're going to wrap. I'm going to use trellis lace. We're going to use some trellis. And that's going to be pretty. Look at there. Oh, yeah. I think that's going to be pretty. All right. I think that's enough. I save. If I cut too much of my um, ribbons or my trellis lace, I save the scraps. Because you can add them to when you're doing... Um, using just scrap scraps. Wrapping. You add it to those and it looks cute. Alright, so I'm going to space it. I am going to space it. I'm going to space each wrap. Y'all know how I do it. Oh yeah, that's going to be pretty. What do you think? Gonna be pretty, but is the pocketbook gonna do right? <laughs> I haven't done one, y'all. Be my first one, even though I have done the canteen 
looking ones. This one you fold down. Dun, dun, dun. Actually, I tried to do that with one, but I didn't like it. It was a little bit different. I did mine with an oval. Alright, come on. It's 80 degrees here today, y'all. It was 80 degrees yesterday. We went from 50s to 80. And I don't like it that hot. That fast. And all them bumblebees or carpenter bees are like going crazy out here. Every time you go out the front porch, the big old bumblebees out there. All my azalea bushes are bloomed down the side of the house. I got the white ones right now. The little bitty ones hadn't blossomed yet. The yellow jasmine, they're about done flowering. Um, what else is flowering here? The Bradford pears. Um, I hadn't seen any... Uh, Daffodils. I see some um, the leaves, but I hadn't seen the flowers. The wisteria, the purple grape looking flower that grows on a vine and t kills the trees. They're in bloom. My car's covered with green, yellow pollen. I have a black car. My car glows. <laughs> it's like a neon color now. <laughs> I need to go out there and wash it. I don't think we got any rain coming anytime soon. Alright, this is going to be pretty pretty. My birthday's the day after Easter this year. What the heck's going on? I want to see another Easter birthday. I'm looking at this thread sticking up. Da, 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 da. Oh man, look, it came undone. I didn't do that very tight. It's alright, Laurel will fix it. Laurel will fix it. Here we go. Get yourself in there. Just for that, I'm going to put it under the foot. Alright, let's see. Ooh, y'all, this is going to be pretty. Oh, crap. It came out the needle anyway. It don't normally do that. Come on. Got to thread it again. Hey, this time I can see the hole. There. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I can feel the heat. I'm in front of a window. I can feel it. I had to turn my air on. I want to turn my air on. Don't want to open my windows either. Then I have dust everywhere. Pollen. So I gave it a little 
touch of black lines and then the cream color the gold color and the uh, beige I'm having to go slow because of that stupid thread all right what's this oh Cut my threads. I can't see it. Same color. All right, let me wrap a couple more rounds or wraps. Uh, 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 uh. I stuck to my finger. It is pretty, y'all. Pretty, pretty. That's going to be pretty. Especially when it folds down. All right. That was too many. There we go. Whew. Get warm in here. Feel the heat coming through the window here. Between that and this light beside me. All right, we made it to the end of that one. I don't think it's big enough yet. Let me measure it. You think it was 12 inches or? Well, right now it's an eight. It's an eight inch circle. To be a nice size, I think it needs to be bigger. Move stuff out the way because it wants to curve. It's curving on me. I want to say it was 10 or 12 inches. I don't remember. It's not my favorite group. I ain't trying to copy them either. I want to do my own spin. But it looked cool. I'll give them that. Alright, I see it twisting over my sewing machine. <laughs> I have a plate over here. thing ain't it pretty y'all see the y'all see the um trellis lace all right let me undo some of this i'm starting to get curvy curvy again one of Amber's uh, thing for the spool. I do have a Lazy Susan, but I got that other spool on it. Alright, it's curving down. Do I want it to curve up? Curve down? Hmm. I had to steam it. Steam it and put some books on it. One thing about nylon, nylon don't stretch uh, stretch too good. Alright, where's my ending at? Over here. Yep, I think I needed a table on this one. There she goes, went off the edge. All 
Alright, let's look at it up close. Let me get to the end of my wrap here. And we'll play with it and see if it's big enough yet. Let me zoom out. We have a plate. Okay, let me cut this off right quick. See, I still have some left. I save it. Okay, I do think it needs to be bigger. Stretch yourself out. It happens to the best of it. Alright, so she... I think she came down... I think she came down like that. You see that? And then the other one... When she folds it, it comes to right here. And then you'll have to make a a thing on the side, a gusset, I guess that's what you call it, if I remember right. You see it? Hey, that's pretty. I think it needs to be bigger, though. That's kind of small. All right. Folded the way I have it is five and a half inches. So you can only get maybe a wallet in there. Alright. It is nine and a half inches on the top. So my complete circle, let's measure it. And straighten it back out. All right, my circle right now is, let me get it on the edge there. It's right at nine inch. So that's a nine inch circle. I think we need to go at least, at least 10 or 12. So we'll do some more. So you're gonna have to make two of these. I can't remember. Well, now, that wouldn't make sense if she made one bigger than the other. Because then it wouldn't fit right. Alright. So, nine inches so far. I need to move this. It's in the way. We'll figure it out, won't we? Well, you know which pocketbook I'm talking about now? It was on the other group. It was cute as heck. I was like, oh, I like that. Laurel hardly ever copies anybody. But I am today. If I see it again, I'll give her kudos. I don't even remember who it was. I need something under my... I need something over here. Hold up, I got this box here. Hang on. Uh oh. Don't drop everything, Laurel. Alright, that'll work. It's a little bit taller, but it'll work. Maybe not. I should do the out, very outside edge, very outside edge. Good speaking, Laurel. I should do that with the wrap, the last row. I think I'm gonna do two more rounds and then I 
Are y'all telling me what to do? <laughs> All right, I saw she put, I seen that one. Half an inch gusset. E the circles, I did circles. Um, you mean this part? I did the chain link pocketbook. Um, hi, Catherine, Kathy, Sharon. Say hello, everyone. I am in North Carolina and it's 80 degrees and I can feel it coming through my window. And I am off work for the fourth day because we hadn't had anybody checking in. But this weekend might be a different story. Plus I got a Verbo I got clean. So, Laurel's going to be doing double duty, which is cool because I got to catch back up. Being off four days sucks. Laurel's got bills. Alright, I don't think this box is doing me any justice over here. Don't like the box, it's too high. I can't play music, so y'all gotta put up with me singing. Come on, come on. Uh-oh. I don't think it's going to affect it any because when I had it folded a minute ago. <laughs> See, it, it, it does it on Laurel too. It curves. It's because of this rope. Alright, we'll deal with it. I think it'll be alright. Alright, let's see how big she is now. Uh -oh. Laurel ran out of darn bobbin. One more bobbin. Alright, let's see. Let's flatten it out and see how big she is. Flatten yourself out. There you go. Nine and a half inches. I think it's I think it should be ten inches. At least ten or twelve. Ba -ba -da. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a two part video. We'll see. Cause it's taking Laurel forever. Yeah, if you hadn't subscribed, don't forget to hit that button, girls. It helps Laurel's channel get out there. I ain't Crafty Patty, but I like to be her. She getting a fat paycheck right now. Yeah, once you get a million subscribers, you get paid pretty good. So if you didn't know, YouTube pays, and now you know. At 10,000 subscribers, you start getting paid for commercials. But it ain't much money. You got to get way up there to get that big money. Twist and all that good stuff. Alright, I'm at 
10 inches, wasn't it? Or nine and a half. You might have to wrap in a few minutes. Come on, I want to go faster. This is going to be pretty if I can succeed. <laughs> when you rush it, you mess up, so I better chill out. Plus, y'all got me on video. Laurel done messed up. You should have seen her. Alright, I think I want to wrap again. nine people hi everyone let us know where you at we are on here live we're acting crazy uh laurel is anyway so i'm going to be using this again for the wrap this is called trellis lace or ladder lace some people call it ladder lace and i got a little bit left from last time This is what I'm using. It's a crochet uh, ribbon. Dun, dun, dun. Hi, am I zoomed out still? It's a, it's a, it's turned into a bowl. It's a walk. I think it'll be all right because we're going to be folding it. Come on. I'm trying to get this wrap started. Hang on. Hold on. The last time it came undone. All right. Let's see if I can do this in view. Oh, I pulled out a yard or so. That's the best way to wrap with this is by pulling it out a yard at a time or less. That way you don't get all them tangles. If you try to wrap it while it's still in the spool, you'll have a big mess. I'm spacing it apart as I wrap. See? It gives it like a ribbon, a ribbon look. Plus it brings out the tan and it brings out the burgundy. Alright, let's see if I can do this fast. So far so good. Anyway, so we're going to have to make two circles, and then we got to do the side gusset. Um, I don't see, if you want a thinner, you could actually probably just sew the two together, but if you do a few rows like this, this one is five rows. I would do a few more rows than this. And then you can stitch that as your gusset. I'm not going to use that one, but y'all know what I'm talking about. You could actually do it with uh, fabric, too. So make a fabric gusset and stitch it right to it. I've seen somebody um, do the gusset. And the handle all in one. I think I've seen that on Pinterest. They were using um, actual uh, placemats, though. Anybody else see that on Pinterest? I'm not on Pinterest anymore. 
I've removed myself. <clears throat> I got four of my pictures on Pinterest. Somebody took my pictures and put them on Pinterest. I did not. But it's cool. If I don't look at it, I'm good. I won't get mad. <laughs> I won't get mad. It'd be nice if they'd let you know that they're going to do that. Or let me do it. At least. We won't go there. Put a clip in it. Because I'm getting twisted here. Here we go. Let's try this one more time. Let's see if I can get my feed dogs to come up just a little bit. Chug a login. Chug a log. She's driving me mad. She's driving me crazy. Remember that song, but I don't remember who sings it. Alright, I got a mess here. What happened? Alright. Wrap it while it's on the salt machine. I got about five inches. So what's everybody been making lately? Anybody been making anything cool? Making Easter baskets? Anybody trying my teacup that I made a couple days ago? It turned out cute. I think a, a little plant in it would be really cute. Especially for Easter. <clears throat> to give to somebody. It's a little teacup and saucer. It wasn't that hard to do either. And then I um, figured out an easy way to do the handle. Without having to do extra adding and stitching and all that good stuff. All right, let me get this clip. My finger don't want to work. I'll show you my teacup in a minute. It turned out really cute. I did two of them. Took my string. Try to make a mess. Another string somewhere. Da, 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 da. Say, come on, Laura, get this project done. Oh, actually, two rows of this rat would be pretty. All right, I want to see where we're at on this. Flatten yourself out. Oh, it got really curvy that time. It's alright. It's going to be folded. Alright, let's measure it. Let's 
Egg gap. Ten and a quarter. Alright, that might be good. Hold on, let me check it out. Let's check her out. Now that's a little bit better. That looks better. So you're going to do two of these. You're going to make yourself a gusset. And the one you attach to the back, you're going to flip it down. And it's probably going to meet right here. Here, let me back my camera up so you can see it better. So you fold it like that. So you're going to need two circles and then make a little gusset like this and add it to it on the bottom. You can actually um, do your handle along with your gusset. This one's just five rows. This is from another project that I did. Just showing you how it how to do it. So yeah, y'all. So you gotta do two of these. You're gonna fold this one, and the next one you're gonna fold it over and probably position it to where this this is. And this is gonna be your inside, right? So Laurel's got to play with this a little bit. But it, it's doing fine with the curving. Remember how it was curving? It's flat now. So you just got a little hump right here. Cool beans. Laurel's going to have to do a part two, I think. I'm getting ready to run out of bobbin. So this part here is going to be your inside. You're going to do a gusset. You can do your handles along with that gusset. And then stitch it to it. And this part here is going to stay. I think she stitched this part down too. But this is going to be your where your inside is. So your other circle is going to come up and over. So you're going to have a flap. Cool beans. Did you understand that one? Oh, your teacup. <laughs> There's my teacup. Ain't it cute? I attached it right to the uh, saucer. Yep, I did it with the rope. I wrapped the whole thing. Um, I did a video on the group. With the other one. This one's. Here, here's the other one I started. I ain't finished it yet. That's what it looks like. It looks like a saucepan when you're finished. And then you attach the handle. You attach the handle. Ain't it cute? But you make it look like a saucepan. And then you bring your handle down and attach it. I'm going to hand stitch it. Isn't it cute? And this is what it looks like with the saucer. You can put a um, cute little plant inside of it. It's pretty big. Well, this is the taper that it gave me with my sewing machine. I have that big nose. I think the bottom was, what was it, four inches or three? I think it was three inches. And then I did 11 rows. 
Isn't it cute? I'm going to put it on my Etsy shop. I have two of them done. Two of them I'm not going to do a, a, a saucer. Alright, ladies. So, I'm going to make a part two. I'm going to go ahead and make a second one. And then, um, I'll, maybe I'll come on and uh, do the gusset and the handle. I got plenty of rope for this project. So I'll do that. I'll do a part two. But I'll go ahead and make the back side for this. Sound good? I might do it later on and I might do it tomorrow. Alright, love y'all. It was fun. Don't forget to subscribe. A teacup on YouTube? No, it's on, on the group. I did it on the group. Alright, y'all. Love you. And I will make the other side of this part. And I'll do the gusset and then put it together on YouTube. How's that? Sound good? Alright, love y'all. If I can turn it 